Hey guys, thanks for watching Radio Flight. You know, I ordered these decals for the Flightline Bearcat. Some of you may have seen the video where I did an unboxing of that and uh, gave you a close look at some of the parts, made a few comments at the end. Um, yeah, I went ahead and I ordered the graphics kit from Cali Graphics out in New Mexico. I sent Cali a, an email and said, I've got the Flightline Bearcat. The decals that come with the kit are nice, but I don't like the uh, the look of the peel and stick decals. I wanted some custom cut vinyl graphics for the Bearcat. And I had seen other planes from foamies all the way up to, uh, you know, giant uh, gas 3D models uh, and um, some big warbirds, uh, giant scale warbirds uh, with graphics from Cali Graphics that look absolutely phenomenal. It really adds to the scale fidelity and the overall um look and appeal of the model um, makes it look very realistic so this is the decal package that i got from cali graphics it got from new mexico to my house in connecticut in less than four days and there's um eight pieces all together you can see here there's eight different uh pieces that were that were cut and uh they're just mailed in a plain uh envelope so there's the the 105 um for the wing, uh, the fuselage, the 105s for the uh, that go on the cowl, and um, I think another set goes on the tail underneath the uh, horizontal stab. Um, the A for the vertical stab, and then we have the stars and bars. Those are a little more difficult to see. Um, but each one of these is the only thing that's going on the plane is the one the zero and the five there is no clear surround like you get with a regular decal like uh something that you would get in a kit uh, like um where you just cut out the clear and get it as close as you can and you put it on and the sheen of the decal all that clear material around the actual nomenclature graphic um that sheen once you put it on the plane it doesn't really match the the sheen of the paint or the finish on the plane so it kind of stands out this way you just get just the numbers um they're cut on you know an expensive uh vinyl cutting machine and uh you know just really really crisp edges i've gotten some from a local print shop um they were okay but they weren't perfect these are perfect um the quality is excellent um and for those of you that aren't familiar this was originally um, an all-white piece of vinyl. It goes in the machine. The machine cuts out the graphic according to the computer. And then what they do is they come back and everything that's not the graphic, the intended graphic, is removed or weeded is what it's called. And everything that you see green was originally um, the outline. Uh, the material that was left over that all gets just peeled off and thrown out and then this piece is the transfer this gets placed on top of the graphics and so when i cut out the 105 before i position it um i peel this off and it picks up the one the zero and the five i move that over to the plane and uh get that a position and there's a liquid um, that you put on the plane and it helps you maneuver the graphic um, and allows you to re get it in position um, because if you stick it down and then you pull it up and you don't do it the way that they tell you to do it following the instructions on uh, calligraphics.com um, there's a good chance uh, most likely you're going to lift some paint off the model so you want to follow those specific directions and uh, you'll come out with the best results you come out with excellent results so yeah, that's it. The stars and bars. You can see um, this red <clears throat> uh, on the 105, the Bearcat 105. You'll see that there's red on the very wing, very tips of the wings, um, the top uh, piece of the tail, um, as well as the, the hub on the prop. Um, there's a section there that's also even the pilot. Um, if you look at some of the pictures, the pilot's uh, helmet is even that same red. Uh, it all matches and looks really cool um i think model masters makes a paint it's called burnt iron is the color it's a flat um testers model masters uh once i peel this up and get these applied i'll be able to see if that model masters i'll do a little test um and see how close that matches 
and then I use uh, 3M masking tape. I'll mask off the wingtips and hit that with my airbrush. You can even brush it on. It's not, it levels out nice. And uh, But I'll do a video at the end results and uh, show you once everything's applied to the Bearcat and uh, let you know if I had any uh, concerns, how everything went. But overall, I'm really impressed uh, with the service, the quality from Cali Graphics. I mean, it was a simple email. How much for the Flightline Bearcat? It's $27. I PayPal'd her um, the money. And before I know it, here they are in my mailbox. And she included a couple of uh, Cali Graphics um, decals. They're about the size of a business card. So I'll put one on the shop and the... Uh, on the toolbox in the shop and one on my flight box uh, that I take with me to the field. And if there's, uh, if there's a few left over there, I'll hand them out at the field or whatever. So but that's it. The uh, graphics package from CaliGraphics.com for the flight line F8 F Bearcat. Um, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. I'll do another video. Like I said, once I get these on the model and um, I'll, I'm sure I'll be using these again in the future. Uh, I've already got plans to work with Cali for making the decals for radio flight on my youtube channel my facebook page and uh i also do some i help some local pilots uh just people get started in the rc hobby in general cars boats planes whatever so but again guys thanks for checking out the video check out cali graphics caligraphics.com and uh i hope you enjoyed the video have a great day we'll see you at the field